thank you for watching today. This is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. In this video, we're going to do the Revelation quest, fighting Starborn Musa, Athalia, Tutra, Rin, and Fion, and then finally either the Hunter, the Emissary, or both, depending on who we choose up front. But by the end, we're going to have all the artifacts and we'll be ready to build a Unity, even though we're going to wait for a little while after that. So let's get started. So our starting point is actually the quest Among the Stars, and we're going to go to Oborum 3. And we pick up that quest after we collect the artifacts that we learn about at the Lodge when we first start our New Game Plus round. And when we arrive, the Hunter and the Emissary are waiting for us. A little banter. Yes, yes. I'm going to pick the Emissary for one reason and one reason only. Because I'm in the middle of the Sistef Crimson Fleet quest, and the Hunter, if I pick him just hang around on my ship the entire time until I go through the Unity, I'm going to pick the Emissary, just because he goes away. I tend to alternate between the two of them, and I have picked neither at one point in time, and that worked out fine too. So our next quest is Revelation, where we go to Masada 3. So I'm as ready as I'll ever be for this, so we'll just go straight to Masada 3 and get started. little bit of dialogue and a fight. I don't pick Scorpius first, I pick one of the other Starborn and knock them out. You can't kill the hunter anyway, he will disappear at the end so you need to take out the other two first. Definitely more maneuverable than me. Okay, finally got one down. Let's go to ground. Clearly, if you're doing New Game Plus, you have been through this fight before, so this isn't the first time anybody watching this probably has seen this. If you haven't gone through the Unity before and haven't done the fight at the Buried Temple, I'm going to run through this as quickly as I can and probably not do a lot of looting. If you're in your original game and you want to, there's a lot of loot here. If you have not prepared and you need ammunition and you need med packs and you just want to collect loot there's a lot of loot here as well so you can take probably twice as much time as i take passing through here hello old friend the hunter will be below with the final artifact his allies will be throwing everything they have at us Let's go find Jessamine. Yes, why don't you come with us? I knew you'd get bored without me. All right. I don't mind having an extra gun on this. I head up this way towards the emissary ship just because when I walk off the landing pad up here, there's a couple of bodies to loot. I don't do a lot of looting, like I said, but I will, on the way through, pick up a couple. Just because they're in front of me. And I'll burn some med packs along the way. I'll take a frag grenade. I might throw that. I don't use frag grenades much. I don't use grenades much at all, but I do keep frag grenades on my hotkey. The building up on the right, I tend to hop into as well, just for a little bit of extra ammo and supplies. 
I don't need any mines. I don't need any extra clothing off these guys. The digipix are actually useful. I probably have a hundred digipix on me, so I don't need these, but if you want to pick up more, there there are gonna be plenty along the way. Yes. Ammo. I don't need that gun. I'll put it in the ship before I go. We're within range of our ship, so we can pick up anything we want. We can empty our inventory before we head on to the first battle. Loot goblin. My inner loot goblin cannot be satisfied if I don't pick things up. Okay, so we've dumped everything in the ship, made sure we have ammunition, reloaded a weapon or two. We'll check some on the way. And we're off to the first fight. This should be Guardian Musa, M-U-S-A. A mix of long range and up close fighting. He has clones. There he is. You have to keep knocking this guy's clones out. And all these guys, when they run up to you with a blade, I tend to pay attention. They are pretty serious about it. Hi, guys. Say hello to my particle boom boom. Okay, back to the sniper rifle. He will lob a lot of grenades at you. I do have ballistic shielding on all my armor. That's one of the things I did in the earlier video where I where I tuned up the Mark I armor set. I'm just shooting over the top of that guy's head. Terrible. Pop up, buddy. There we go. Got him. That was easy. I think that was maybe a minute, 15, minute and a half. Not bad. You can loot this area down here. I'm not going to go through that. If you want some more med packs, things like that. Hello, Emissary. I almost shot him. And then what I like to do, actually, is to jump up on this left-hand side. I do not go down the tunnel. I don't think there's any real risk of going down the tunnel, and lots of people like to go down the tunnel, and you could loot more things. But I pull out a sniper rifle. I run up this side, and then I will boost pack up the side of this little rock. And I'll just run around to the side. I fight this next fight entirely or almost entirely from above with a sniper rifle. I let whichever starborn I brought with me jump around below and any companion I have do the same. Start off on the left side and I will run over to the opposite side at some point in time when I need a better shot. And we just take out Ecliptic until we convince the Starborn, Athalia, I think is his name, to show himself and come out. Wow. Shoot much? Nice job, Kinnear. So the good news about shooting from up here is that a lot of these guys really don't have weapons with the range to do much damage to you or anything at all. The bad news is you're a little out of range too, so it might take you a minute. I do not enjoy just running around down here, especially when the Starborn shows up and he keeps jumping from ecliptic to ecliptic. This is almost a perfect fight for a sniper because when he hops around, you just shoot him wherever he goes. Hey, somebody else took that guy out. Buddy. Hi, Knight. Death comes for you. Frame rate just dropped. I got a Windows update last night that has hit this machine hard. Pop. Okay, now we see him. Blue marker. I don't know if he's behind the building. He's going to come around. He's gonna run around the side or he's gonna teleport to an ecliptic. How about that guy? Maybe? I missed him. So we're gonna have to move a little closer. But there are a lot of places to perch over here. 
And you can always jump up. It does help to have boost pack and boost assault training maxed out. Actually, very handy. Oh, here comes the emissary. He's going to pitch in. Sometimes I will shoot him just because he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Take that. Nice crit shot to the head. That's the end of him. He's done. I do have rifle and a fair number of sniper skills leveled up, so if I can get those shots off, we're good. All we need now is a key. Right inside. Really not going to loot anything, and I'm not going to open up any safes. We're just going to head for the door. Like I said, when you're done with this, you can actually run all the way back through this entire temple. I believe all the way down to the final room and loot anything you want. So there's plenty of time to come back and loot. I don't think anything gets locked out on you. At least I've not seen anything locked out. So we'll just move forward. We'll take the Digipix. I don't even think I have heart on a hotkey, but I pick it up anyway. There's some loot inside that room if you want to un if you want to pick the lock on the door. I do not. Now we're going to start jumping through the anomalies. This is cool. We're in the original cave with Lynn and Heller. All we really need to do is run ahead. Lights on for safety. And right into another little sparkly. You all right? Yes, of course. Oh, he's so worried about us. I like this next room. The first thing I do is I go to the right. I go all the way to the end of this hallway. I pick the lock on this door. There's a turret inside. You need to take that out right away. And then there's a terminal you have to pick the lock on as well. But as soon as you open this one up, you can set the turrets and the robots to protect you and attack the two starborn that are in here. Tutra and Rin. So there's two of them out there running around fighting your buddies. And there's essentially nothing going on in here. Update friend info. Recalibrate friend info. Do the same for the turrets. And that's it. The rest of this fight gets really simple at this point in time. Okay, we'll pick up the ammunition on the way out. Guns. And time to go find a Starborn. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Oops. I, I think I missed my perch. Yeah, see, now they're down there fighting robots, and they're not even... They barely know we're here. Rin is down. Tutra? Tutra? Toita. T-E-U-T-A. Guardian Toita. I don't remember their names. They're not around very long. That's where Boost Assault comes in handy. And he's gone. And we'll pick up the key card. That'll get us out the back door. That's a good room to loot. Not gonna do it. But if you come back through, stop in that room, loot everything. Let's keep moving. But first, check our ammunition. Oh, I can't help but loot these guys. Door here, and I'll probably, t yeah, I'll turn around and come down here and loot this guy. Suit. That's not worth it. I think there's some story on that terminal, but nothing else. Into another anomaly. Awesome. Petrov. We have visitors. We have visitors. Badek. I like that guy. He's so uh, enthusiastic. Did you? So what is the story? Is this guy actually Starborn too? Or is this just a coincidence? 
life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. I don't take kindly to those words. I think we're going to have to fight. You're nothing! Guards! I'm done. Ooh, I've had it. Guard. I think we have three more guards. Two more guards. One more guard. It's a really cool looking area, but there's really nothing to loot in here. I, I don't think there's much to loot other than Petrov. Even though I know I'm going to go through the Unity, I do take his collector's outfit and I don't really care about the gun. But... I wish you could get back to his room, which is kind of cool. It has his first credit that he earned or stole or whatever. But you get to do that if you go through the full quest line, and it's well worth it. Was that a golden toilet? Okay, let's get back through. Get back to business. The temple is testing you. Yes, yes, the temple is testing me. Head for the elevator. Don't be distracted by the ecliptic line on the floor. I'll take the emergency kit. I'll take ammunition. I don't care for mines. I don't use them. Grenades, maybe not so much. We'll just go down. In the end, the search for the artifacts always ends here. And we're going through another anomaly. Come on, the rock. Vlad is not even in my game this time. I'm in the Walterific universe, so there's no constellation, and I have never seen Vlad at the eye in this particular game. But I did go visit his house. Even though he's not in the game, his house is still there. You can go in and loot it. to the blackest sea for your rook. Let's scare him. Hey, buddy. Hey, look over here. I'm a ghost. What the? Could he? What kind of crew? Multiple universes? Get them, Vlad. Chase the artifacts. Okay, I think we're done. But for now, wouldn't mind if you can. And we're out of here. Nice to see you, buddy. Okay. There. The last temple. Once we get inside, be ready. With so much power gathered here, anything can happen. And we'll stop off here and grab mostly ammo. I don't take any of the fragmentation mines or any of that. I leave all the guns. Again, you can come back through here later and pick up anything you don't take now, so there's really no reason to be greedy at this point in time. Grab what you want and move on. The chest here at the end is pretty nice. It's got a lot of credits in it. And we head into the temple. I think the key in here is just keep moving. Keep moving. And I think you have to kill duplicates to get him to appear or to regularly appear, but after a while, I think most of the time you can chase him down. I think he's up here with me. <laughs> that was just dumb luck. Maybe it wasn't very lucky. He he is a, uh, he's a bladed weapon guy. And when he's on you, he will cut the daylights out of you. So it's best to keep your distance. moving. Look for the blue dot. Take those targets of opportunity. I'll switch between the inflictor and the big bang. He's up top. Can I reach him? Nope. Oh, he's back down below. <laughs> Be good if I had ammo. <laughs> he's gonna chase me. He wants to fight. 
I keep bringing guns to knife fights. Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, not quite. Maybe I need to invest some points to get that reload speed up. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Nobody kill him. He's mine. Oh, there he is. He's gone. Dude, come back. Me, isn't he? Little med pack, little ammunition. There he is. That was it. Sniper shot. He's done. I'll take it. I'm not proud. I'll shoot him with any gun I've got. A little bit of habitual looting. Now I will, I'm happy to talk the hunter down in here. I don't really care. I'll make a decision when I get inside. Load up. Might as well drink a little bottle there, in case we decide to persuade. I need one of those on-screen random number generators to make decisions. Do not run up to him fast. I've done it before and he ends up right in your face during the dialogue. It's I kind of I weird. I too surprised you made it this far. It serves me right. For not being convincing enough. Yes, Andrew, you are not very convincing. Let's just fight. Let's get Absolutely, it. brother. Come on. Hop to it. Nice. nice. We started flying around. And we're out of here. Back to the lodge. That didn't last long. Where are we? NASA. Oh, we're down in the in the labs. Let's just blast him. He's just standing there. Reload every time you shift. That's my key. Into the neon lounge. Where is he? Up top. Jump up. Get him. I think I got him before he even materialized. How'd that work? Or that was just a duplicate. Crit, got a crit, and we're gone. We're moving on. Reload. Get him and stay. That's a museum. There he is. This will get it for us. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Duplicate get away. Emissary. Boost assault. Hover. Unload on him. He's down. We got him. Let's just insult him now. Here, take that. Take that. Take that. That's it. Excellent. Take all this stuff. I'm not really a fan of either one of their rifles, but nice. That's it. I think we might be 25 minutes in total. You've done it. The temple's artifact is yours. Just hand him over, buddy. Yes. You've proven yourself worthy. You're not my friend from the other universe, Away. even though you're very sentimental. I know we aren't from the same universe, but it kind of feels like old times. It is, except we're both dressed up in funny outfits. Here, 
all the artifacts I've gathered. That's it. So we should have gotten an upgraded power by finishing this temple. Which means I think we'll have nine left to upgrade across the entire set of 24. And as soon as we grab this, if I can get into the center, as soon as we grab artifact Moo, I think this is our upgraded power that we get here. For some reason, I think it's phase time, but maybe it changes. I don't know. And we're outside. That's it. At this point... Hey! Great timing. Leveled up. I think of something exciting to do with that. We're not going to do that right away, but we can now, which is the important part. That's going to be a wrap for now. We don't really have anything else to do here. Like I said, if you want to, you can run through the entire temple all the way to the back again and loot it from end to end. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Remember, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and get notifications. This is Kinnear, and I'm out of here.